What is up guys welcome back to another video on the channel So in this video I'm going to be showing you guys how to make custom YouTube thumbnails Without having to buy any expensive programs like Photoshop So if you guys do find this video helpful make sure to drop a like And with that being said let's get right into the video Alright guys so the first thing you're going to want to do is you're going to want to go to Pixlr.com I'm going to leave the link in the description So once you're in this page what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to go ahead and uh, click on create a new image And under presets you're going to want to go to movie 720 so all the way down here movie 720 make sure that uh transparent is checked and go ahead and click okay so the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna uh add a background to our image or to our thumbnail so um usually i use like space background so you can go to google and type space background 1280 by 720 and then uh, you can choose any of these images right here so i already chose an image for myself so i'm gonna go ahead and open it up so in order to open up an image, you're going to want to go to file, open image, and you're going to want to choose the image that you chose. So I'm going to open up this image right here and it's going to sit right on top of your um, transparent background or whatever. So what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to go to control A to select the whole image. So you guys are going to see like little, uh, I don't know what these are called, these little ants or whatever it's called. So that means uh, the image is selected and then go ahead and click Control c to copy the image and then you could go ahead and close this image up and then uh, right here go ahead and click Control v and you should paste the image to your uh, project so now i'm gonna merge uh, these two layers right here right click and then merge down so now the next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna go to the text tool we're gonna write custom youtube thumbnails and the font that I'm going to be using for this tutorial is going to be uh, Oblix Pro. Uh, make sure that the size is all the way to max. So the max will be 130. And we're just going to write custom. And in order to move the text, go to the move tool right here. Click on it. And you should be able to move your text. So we're just going to put it right here. All right, guys, so once you're done with your text, it's going to be kind of small. So in order to make it uh, bigger, you're going to want to go to your layer text. So for example, I'm going to go to custom and you're going to right click rasterize layer and then go to edit free transform. And you should get these little uh, squares on the side of your text. So uh, we're going to make it a little bit bigger. So from the corners right here, make sure you hold shift and then you can just make it a little bit bigger so i think that's gonna be good right there and then just go ahead and click enter and we're gonna do the same thing with all the layer text All right guys, so once you're done resizing your text to the size that you guys want, we're gonna go ahead and add an outline to your text. So we're gonna go to, um, so go to the layer text. So for example, right here, I'm gonna go to custom and I'm gonna right click and go to layer styles and click outer glow. So for right here, for the hardness, we're gonna go all the way to 10. And for the size, we're gonna go to 20. And we're going to change the color to black. And hit OK. And we're going to do that with all of our text. All 
All right, guys, so once you're done outlining your text, uh, we're gonna add an image. So we're gonna add the YouTube icon image. So in order to get a, a YouTube icon image, go to Google, type in YouTube icon PNG, and you should be able to get any of these uh, images right here. So choose whatever image you guys want. And I already chose my image, so I'm gonna just go ahead and open it up. So go to file, open image, and choose the image that you chose. So now go ahead and uh, click Control A to select the image, and then Control C to copy, and then exit out, and Control V to paste. And as you guys can see, the image is way too big for our thumbnail. So in order to resize it, just go to Edit, Free Transform, and make sure you hold Shift, and then resize. So I think that's gonna be good. And then I think I'm gonna like tilt it a little bit and make it a little bit smaller and go ahead and click enter. So as you guys can see, uh, this image is covering the, the text, the YouTube text. So in order to put the YouTube text on top of it, you're gonna wanna, you're gonna wanna move layer six all the way down. So the next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna uh, add an outline to this image as well. So you're gonna right click on the image, layer styles, Outer glow and for the hardness we're gonna go all the way to 10 and for the size enter 20 all right guys so i think that looks good so all right guys so once you're done with your youtube thumbnail in order to save your image you're gonna want to go to file save and for the format make sure that you save it as a png and just name it whatever you guys want and save it wherever you guys want and just go ahead and click save and yeah guys that's how you make custom youtube thumbnails without photoshop or any expensive programs so hopefully you guys did find this video helpful if you guys did make sure to drop a like and subscribe if you're new to the channel thanks for watching and i'll see you guys in the next one